and welcome to Haws. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is very, very important to Haws and the animals that we care for. It's something called the Five Freedoms. The Five Freedoms are standards of care that were developed to make sure that animals being cared for by humans are getting everything they need to not only be healthy, but also to be happy and thriving. Haas uses the five freedoms to make sure that the animals in our care are getting everything that they need. So the first freedom is freedom from hunger and thirst. Now that seems really easy, doesn't it? We need to make sure our pets get food and water, of course. And if you have the type of pet that has food sold in the store, it could be just that easy. But what about pets that eat things that aren't sold in bags that are labeled? So this page has a picture of a mound of hay, and surrounding it is a picture of a cat, rabbit, snake, horse, and goldfish. Which animals do you think eat hay? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. So if you chose the horse, you are absolutely correct. They do say hay is for horses, of course. But Another animal that eats hay is a rabbit. I know, and everyone knows, thanks to Bugs Bunny, that rabbits eat carrots. But really, rabbits eat carrots as a treat, and hay is a very important part of their diet. Can you think of any other pets that would live inside a house and eat hay? So here are the answers for you. Guinea pigs eat hay. So do chinchillas. And hamsters also eat hay. Now let's talk about some more unusual pets. Some pets eat insects, such as mealworms. This page has a bearded dragon, chameleon, tortoise, and iguana. Do you know which of these would eat mealworms? If you said it was bearded dragons and chameleons, you got it right. And if not, well, at least you learned something. Here are the same animals, this, but this time we have romaine lettuce pictured. Which of these animals would eat green leafy lettuce? So the answer is bearded dragon, iguana, and tortoise. Did you notice that the bearded dragon eats both mealworms and lettuce? Bearded dragons are omnivores. That means that they eat both meat and plants. Now, just as important as what animals should eat is what animals should not eat. Just because we humans can eat a type of food doesn't mean it's safe for our pets to eat it. Some of the foods that we can eat can be dangerous for our pets to eat. This cat is surrounded by a picture of grapes, milk, eggs, chocolate, and sardines. Which foods do you think would be bad for a cat out of the ones that are pictured here? Despite people who think that it's a good idea to give cats bowls of milk, it's actually quite bad for them. Cats can't digest milk properly and might get a sick tummy from them. Grapes and chocolate are poisonous for cats and are also poisonous for dogs. Never ever give your cat or dog grapes or chocolate as it could be very dangerous. And if you want to give your pet people food, make sure you do your research first to make sure that it's something that they're able to eat. Cats actually can eat eggs and sardines in small amounts as a special treat. We also have to think about the amount of food. Because just like humans, if our pets eat too many calories, they become overweight. And if they don't consume enough calories, they weigh less than what they should. So the second part of that first freedom is freedom from thirst. All living things need water, but is it really that easy? This dog is drinking out of a water bowl. Does that water look clean enough to drink safely? What if you knew that that bowl hadn't been cleaned for a few days, that the old water was dumped out and fresh water poured in without cleaning the bowl first? And this is what your pet is actually drinking. That's biofilm. So making sure you clean your water source is very important to keep your pet healthy. The other thing that we need to think about is how are we giving our pets the water. Do you think you'd want to give your hamster water from a bottle 
or from a bowl. You actually could give a small animal water in a bowl. However, because most small animal cages include bedding, it could mean that a water bowl would get dirty very quickly. You'd also need to make sure it was small enough that your pet couldn't accidentally drown in it. On the other hand, a water bottle is a good way to keep dirt out while giving your pet plenty of water to drink. So this is a little bit of a tricky question. What about a chameleon? Would you give your chameleon a water bottle? Or would you give your chameleon a bowl? Which one would be better? This is actually a trick question. Chameleons drink water from drops on leaves from morning dew or rain. This means you need to spray your chameleon's cage with water from a spray bottle. So there you have it. Food and water seemed so easy when we first got started, but I hope you've discovered that there's a lot to think about. The best thing you can do to make sure your pet is cared for properly is to do the research to make sure you are getting it right. So thank you for visiting Haas today, and I hope you enjoyed the visit.